day. Kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. We are now on the part 4 of week 1 which is about the measurement and today we will talk about measuring temperature. So what is measurement of temperature? Temperature refers to the measure of the hotness or coldness of an object or substance with reference to some standard value. The instrument used to determine temperature is a thermometer. It is measured by Kelvin or K, degrees Celsius, and degree Fahrenheit. The commonly used units of measure for temperature are degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. So, in this given figure, we can see the three uh, units of temperature, which are the Kelvin, the Celsius, and the Fahrenheit. Comparing the three units of measure, as you can see in the figure, the boiling point of water, body temperature, room temperature, and freezing point of water are different from each other. So, kung mapapansin natin, ang boiling point ng water when it comes to Celsius is 100 degrees. Pero ito ay katumbas ng 373.15 sa Kelvin at 212 degrees naman sa Fahrenheit. At ang freezing point ng Celsius, which is zero, is equivalent to 32 degrees when in terms of Fahrenheit and 273.15 in terms of Kelvin. You can convert one unit of measure to the other using these formulas. So, when we are converting Fahrenheit to Celsius, we can use the formula degrees Celsius equals 5 over 9 times degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 or degrees Celsius equals 0 0.56 times the quantity of degrees Fahrenheit minus 32. And converting Celsius to Fahrenheit, we will use the formula degrees Fahrenheit equals 9 over 5 times the degrees Celsius plus 32 or degrees Fahrenheit equals 1.8 times the degree Celsius plus 32. And when we are solving the Celsius to Kelvin, we will use the formula K equals degree Celsius plus 273. So let's now have the examples. Convert 35 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. So for us to convert the, uh, the 35 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit, we will use the formula Celsius to Fahrenheit, so we will use the second formula. So, dun muna tayo sa merong fixed value which is 9 over 5. So, gamitin natin yung 9 over 5 degrees Celsius plus 32. Uh, bago natin na-explain yung kapag decimal point naman yung given which is 1.8. So, let us now substitute the given 35 degrees Celsius to this unit. So, magiging 9 over 5 times 35 degrees plus 32. Next is to multiply the numerator, uh, the num numerator of 9 to 35, so this will become 315 degrees over 5 plus 32. Next is to divide 315 by 5, so that will be 63 degrees plus 32. Huwag pong kakalimutan ang degree symbol sa solution. And therefore, the value of 35 degrees Celsius in terms of Fahrenheit is 95 degrees. Next is... Uh, gamitin naman natin yung merong 1.8. So, ang, paano ba natin nakuha yung 1.8? So, dinivide lang ang 9 sa 5. And then, ang sagot is 1.8. So, gamitin natin yung formula 1.8 times degree Celsius plus 32. And again, the given is 35 degrees. Next is to multiply 1.8 by 35. So, the answer is 63, uh, 63 degrees plus 32. So, the answer is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So, kung mapapansin nyo, alinman sa dalawang formula ang ginamit, pareho lang sila ng kalalabasang sagot. Another example, convert 79 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. So, the given is Fahrenheit and we need to convert it into Celsius. So, we will use the first formula. So, doon muna tayo sa 5 over 9. So, we have the formula 5 over 9 times the quantity of degrees Fahrenheit minus 32. Let us now substitute the 79 degrees. And then multiply, ah uh, sorry, uh, since naka parenthesis ang 79 minus 32, so yun muna yung una natin isosolve, bring down 5 over 9 times 47 degrees. 
Next is to multiply, uh, multiply 5 over 9 by 47 degrees. Therefore, the final answer is 26.1 vinculum degrees Celsius. Again, ang guhit na makikita nyo o yung number na may guhit sa taas, iyon yung tinatawag na vinculum. Ano ba yung vinculum? So, nire-represent nito ang number na kung saan nauulit yung 1. Halimbawa, 26.11111. So, sa halip na isulat natin yung maraming 1, naglagay na lang tayo ng vinculum sa taas ng 1. Next is to use the 0 0.56. Again, substitute to 79 degrees. And then, isubtract mo na ang 79 sa 32, kaya naging 47. And then, multiply 0 0.56 by 47, so the final answer is 26.32 degrees Celsius. So, bakit magkaiba yung sagot na ginamit natin ay 0 0.56 at ang 5 over 9? Ito ay dahil kapag uh, dinivide natin ng 5 over 9, ang sagot is 0 0.55555 and so on, or yung may vinculo. So, kapag hindi natatapos o terminate o non-terminating ang decimal, ibig sabihin, magkakaiba sila sa decimal numbers. Additional example, convert 21 degrees Celsius to Kelvin. So, let us use the third formula which is Celsius to Kelvin. So, again, ang formula ng Kelvin or for us to find the Kelvin is degrees Celsius plus 20, uh, 273. Next is to substitute the given which is 21 degrees to the unit. So, magiging 21 degrees plus 273. Therefore, 21 degrees, de, uh, 21 degrees Celsius is equivalent to 294 Kelvin. Okay, let us now apply how to measure, uh, how to measure temperature using the word problem. A butter melts at 31 degrees Celsius while a candle melts at about 55 degrees Celsius. How much higher is the melting point of candle in Fahrenheit? So for the solution, find how much higher the melting point of candle than butter. So dito, para, uh, bago natin i-compute sa isa pang unit which is yung Fahrenheit, alamin muna natin gano'n ba kataas ang melting point ng candle sa butter so, isusubtract natin yung 55 degrees Celsius sa 31 degrees Celsius. So, the answer is 24 degrees Celsius. Next is to convert 24 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. So, we will use the formula or the second formula. It's either the 9 over 5 or the 1.8. So, dito gamitin natin yung 1.8 times degrees Celsius plus 32. And then, substitute the given or yung nakuha natin sagot kanina which is 24 degrees. Multiply 1.8 to 24, so the answer is 43.2 degrees, plus 32, so the final answer is 75.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Another example, the recipe of a certain cake, or for a certain cake to be baked in an oven, calls for a 475 degrees Fahrenheit temperature. If your oven is set in degrees Celsius, what should be your temperature setting? So, the given is 475 degrees Fahrenheit and then i-convert natin sa Celsius. So, let us use the first formula. Again, it's either the 5 over 9 or the 0 0.56. So, let us use the 0 0.56. So, since nakaparentesis, uunahin natin isolve yung nasa loob ng open and close parentheses. So, uh, let us now substitute the given 0 0.56 times 443. Saan, uh, saan ko nakuha yung 443? Yung given na 475, minus ko sa 32, so the answer is 443 degrees. And then multiplied it by 0 0.56, the answer is 248.08 degrees. Pero sa oven or sa temperature, hindi tayo nakakakita ng ganitong may decimal number na temperature. So ang gagawin natin is 2 um, make this into an uh, exact degrees. So, yung 248.08 degrees ay naging 250 degrees Celsius. So, let us now summarize what we have learned about measuring temperature. So, for us to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, we will use this formula. Converting Celsius to Fahrenheit is this formula. Again, it's either 9 over 5 or 1.8. Ganon din sa 5 over 9 or 0 0.56. And for calculator, 
calculating or converting Celsius to Kelvin, we will use this formula. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all.